this part is fairly complex to mesh because this is a straight face we can assign a brick like element in this complete structure in the flat base but that same brick like elements will not be suitable for these bolt like structure different kind of elements will be needed for this bolt like structure and a different kind of element and different sizes will be needed for the flat base one way to mesh the complete structure is assign a global seat of quite low size so for example let's try one global size and if you see these global sizes are visible here so this global size of one gives quite good refinement to the flat base as well as the circular bolt like structure so let's see how the mess looks like so the abacus shows some error that this structure cannot be automatically meshed. This problem is due to this circular joint between the boat like structure and the flat base. One way we could try to mesh it by using pyramid kind of elements or wedge kind of elements. Let's see if that is possible or not. So let's change hex kind of element is basically brick like element. Tet element is basically tetrahedron that is that look like something like pyramid structure wedge like element is if you cut brick at a some slant plane at an angular plane so that is wedge so let's try it now the color of the structure part has been changed so i think we could mesh with the tet so let's try okay now the tet elements are suitable for this design now we see here mesh is uniform all over the place and what happens is that we don't need much refinement in this flat plane but mesh should be quite refined in the circular part and in the vicinity of the circular part so basically what we need to do is to mesh different part with a different kind of mesh different size of the mesh there is one issue with this mesh because we have assigned the global size quite small the whole structure has refined mesh this increases the mesh size of the whole model a lot and that strains your system memory and this slows down the complete simulation so technically what we need to do is we refine the mesh where it is needed but where we can use coarse mesh we should use coarse mesh what i mean by that let me show you so basically what we need to do is in the vicinity of this circular part we need refined mesh but away from that circular part we can have coarse mesh then the global size of the mesh in the vicinity of the circular part okay so to do that we need partitioning of the system so how do we partition a system so that the mesh can be well refined so let's let's create a, a few partitions partitioning means we split the system into different sections to do partitioning let's go to the tools and then partition in this case we are going to apply this one so here is the message that select one or more edges to sweep i'll select this edge and let me show you the other side of this part you see that this side is plain let's select this edge and done now extrude along a direction so the extrusion must happen in a downward direction so we can select this vertical edge that will drive the circular edge towards bottom now we can click on create partition and let's rotate this and see now you see there is a circle on this part this part is divided into different section so we created a circular section in the this flat part similarly this one partitioning we did what we are going to do we want to create a rectangular kind of section around this circular let's first partition the face and use the sketch method select the face to partition this face vertical on the right 
select this edge so now we are in a sketch let's create a rectangle around this circular zone this is done at this time we have partitioned the face but i want this rectangular section to be created complete throughout the cell right now this is not visible on this side because the this rectangular section is not throughout the depth so to make that we will partition the cell and use the extrusion extrude sweep edge select the cell these edges must be selected all the edges must be selected click done extrude along the direction as we did earlier now create partition now you see that rectangular section appears in this side also so this makes sure that the rectangular section is created throughout the depth of this flat part now let's try to mess this part so let's go to mess module and now we will assign a finer mess size on this part and a coarse mess size on this part so let's increase this size to basically one now let's seed edges so select this edge and the top edge also click done and by size let's reduce is 0.5 so let's make it 0.2 so we have made it quite refined now let's try to mess it look at that now we have a quite refined mesh in the circular region but coarse mesh on the flat plane so this is possible because of this unique partitioning we did around this circular part but in this part around this part there is no partitioning so the coarse mesh is there and to refine the mesh around this part also we need to follow the same procedure as we did on this part 